Hey everyone, so we're going to continue with our hypothesis test of S&P 500 returns. And in this video, we're going to specify our decision rule. So in our last video, we determined our, or identified our test statistic and probability distribution. And the formula looked like so. And we also determined that the probability distribution would be a T distribution, would be most appropriate. And now we're going to specify our decision rule. So we've already imported stats. And what we can do is say stats dot t dot is f and we need to determine our level of confidence so we're going to be a 95 percent confidence level so we can say 0 0.05 significant level and we've also determined our degrees of freedom df up like here like so and that was 118 so let's say df like so and run that but remember now this is 95% of the values to the left of the distribution. We want actually to have the rejection points on both sides of the distribution because this is a two-tailed test. So since we're doing a two-tailed test of equal zero and not equal zero, this is a two-tailed test. So we need to divide this 0 0.05 by two. So that's gonna be 0 0.025 and that'll be 1.98 will be our rejection points. And so if our T value, our T test, statistic is larger than 1.98, we can reject the null hypothesis. So if you like this video, please subscribe. Till next time. Thank you.